Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am, of course, General Lotz, and this is my webcam. Why? Because I don't have time to get out the lighting. Why do I not have to get time to get out the lighting? Well, that's because I have finally found a better job. You see, for the past five years, I've been kind of spinning my wheels, sitting around in abject depression about the end of the Mizio era. Well, as of March 2019, I've pretty much, well, and always gotten over the Mizio era and have been moving on with my life. Yeah, it took five years, but you know what? I made it. Well, about a week ago, I started looking for a better job, and well, ladies and gentlemen, as of today, Monday, 3-25-2019, I did indeed find a better job. Now, what does this mean about reviews? Well, you see... The new job is a 10 hour a day job, and it's five days a week. So that's gonna take a lot of time. Basically, I'll have a grand total of five off time hours a day. That's it. So I can't make, you know, two 30 minute videos in a month anymore. In fact, I'm going to be doing pretty good just to get out one video. So as far as Star Wars year is concerned, I'm gonna do one review per month, and that's about it. Uh, just about everything is going to be postponed or cut in some way until I can really kind of adjust to the schedule. However, you're still going to get one review, uh, for this month. And that, of course, is Battlefront 2. Uh, I already recorded the audio video and started editing, uh, when I got the job call today. Uh, and I'm gonna try to work on that over the next week. If I can't get it done over the next week, then, yay, that means I'm making a lot of money. Uh, if I can't, well, you know, you'll get it out next month. Probably. I already got some gameplay footage recorded for Revenge of the Sith. I'm probably just going to do Revenge of the Sith next month and not uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Because Star Wars Bounty Hunter is a game I want to go into go into depth more of. Uh, in fact, probably a lot of these games for Star Wars year are going to have to be cut in some way. Games that aren't really that important. KOTOR 1 and 2 might... I'm going to definitely try to get KOTOR 1. KOTOR 2 might have to be moved to 2020. But the fact is, I've needed a much better job for a very long time now, and now I have it. Uh, so for anyone who asks me what I do in real life, I am a data entry guy. I just do uh, data entry. But it uh, pays uh, quite well, actually. And so I'm going to be making quite a bit of money. Now that, of course, means that the YouTube channel will get potentially uh, a little bit better. Uh, having more money will mean I can buy better tech, I can possibly buy a slightly better microphone for the camera, but I might not, I might just keep saving it. Uh, you know, it's gonna help with the gun reviews, because that means I'll actually be able to go shoot more, because I'll have, you know, ammo money and stuff like that. Uh, I was actually gonna postpone the gun reviews for a while anyway, until 2020, just because of time constraints as it was. Now, for sure, it's going to be 2020 before another gun review is made. I know that might disappoint some of you, but once again, I gotta make the money to, you know, live. Uh, but I'm actually really excited about, you know, getting back on track with my life. And the YouTube channel is not gonna be abandoned or anything. You're still going to get a, a live stream per week because uh, I'll have time on the weekends to do videos and stuff like that. I'll just have to... Where it used to be I could work all week on a review, now I'll have a grand total of a few hours on Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to probably take a month to put out one good video, but at the same time, I like having lots of monies, which means I can go do lots of things. You know, the general lots uh, outdoor adventures, that that's going to come back, because now I'll actually be able to go places and do those things. You know, the gun reviews, when they come back, there'll be more than just one or two guns here and there. I'll be able to review a bunch of really cool guns. Uh, one of my goals is to finally pick up an AKM, and AKMs ain't cheap. Also, I want to put a good optic on the uh, AR. I haven't been able to do that because I just haven't had the money. Well, guess what? Now that I'm working 10 hours a day, 5 days a week, I can put that good optic on that AR. The fact is, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube channel, thanks to Googlog, is not even remotely uh, profitable. It's sad, but uh, compared to working a real job, it's just not profitable. And, I, and the thing is... I'm lucky in that I was able to find a real job. There's many YouTubers who have definitely gotten kind of destitute just because that was their whole form of income, you know, and it never was for me. But, you know, the fact is, I'm still going to be focusing on YouTube. I just won't have nearly enough time to do more than just a review 
per month. Uh, I actually have to postpone all my cooking videos I had planned and stuff like that. But once again, you know, you guys are still going to get the content, or I should say, y'all are still going to get the content uh, that you want. It's just I gotta I gotta manage my time, and there's no substitute for hard work. That is for sure. Despite what those Bernie Bros might tell you. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've gotten my life into order faster than ever before, and, you know, things are going to be going good, ladies and gentlemen, unless I get hit by a bus, which I sincerely don't hope doesn't happen. Um, I definitely am going to be doing more outdoor adventures once uh, I get a few things sorted in real life. You know, we're going to see some cool places. I can actually uh, do an outdoor adventure of this place called Natural Bridge Caverns. Some of you from Texas should know that epic cavern system. Doing stuff like that, I can finally update the computer. I mean, all of you like uh, PC Gamer by default, you know, Microtubal, uh, Wizard of Oz, sending me all those components. Well, guess what? Now I can just straight up buy them, which is really cool. You know, it's like, the fact is, ladies and gentlemen, when I turned 30 just a few weeks ago, everything had kind of just been stagnant. But now, just less than a month later, actually, it's a little, a month later, not less than a month, it's the 25th. It's like, yeah, we're getting shit done, ladies and gentlemen. And now, back to me talking about happy shit after just talking about even more happy shit. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is March of 2019. Specifically, the last week of March. Yes, this has been a very, very busy month. And I've got a lot of stuff to update everyone on. So, what has taken place in the month of March? Well... Quite literally everything. Oh, for those who have been fans for a long time, you will all know the name Mizio. Mizio and I were in a significant relationship and were even married. Unfortunately, that marriage came to an end in 2014. Unfortunately, or so I thought. You see, I thought it was unfortunate for about five years. Literally up until this month, I was still haunted by the end of my relationship with that particular person. Chains were placed upon my very heart, and my soul was adrift on a sea of sadness. But then this month, a great many things changed. A great many external elements took place. And really, it had already been something that everyone had been trying to get me to overcome. I have a lot better friends now than I did back in 2014, and they've all really been pushing for me to finally get over all the Mizio stuff. It really was the external elements of March that really pushed it over to the edge, though. And I finally was able to get over it all. So much over it that I actually have removed the majority of the Mizio era videos from the channel. Now, if you liked those videos, sorry, they'll be remade one day. Uh, there's some cameo videos that remain, but I don't want to get rid of those because they have tens of thousands of views. And yeah, I don't want to lose those tens of thousands of views. Uh, I've also removed, for those who remember him, uh, the Timpedia stuff as well. He was a friend at one time, unfortunately, or so I thought, like with Mizio, we ended up, you know, breaking apart, so to speak. These things happen, you know, people, unfortunately, can potentially change or show their true colors, and in this instance, true colors were shown. I still wish him and Mizio all the best, but now I am fully divorced from both individuals. I'm a very, you know, sentimental kind of guy. I'm a very emotional kind of guy, very empathetic kind of guy. And I don't like, um, I don't like removing people from my life as much as I should, especially people that I like, because I always think, well, you know, what if I said this? What if I did that? But sometimes, you know, you can't say anything that'll change anything. And sometimes people who you thought were good for your life aren't. And you have to just recognize that and try to move past as best you can. Um, you know, when bad emotional events take place, it's really hard to listen to what other people have to say. Uh, if it wasn't for all the various external elements taking place now in my life, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't, I wouldn't see it, you know, and I didn't see it, you know, back then I was, back then, even a few weeks ago, uh, but back, you know, when all this started up, you know, I was, you know, a 20 something guy not 30, and I guess it's, I guess over time you learn more. Well, yes, over time you learn. You get more experience as you go on. And, you know, 
when I was in my 20s, I was a lot like a lot of other 20-year-olds, where experience doesn't matter, man. If you're stupid all the time, you won't know. You know, stuff like that. Experience does matter. You need to know what you're doing. Now, there's a difference between good experience and bad experience. Good experience is where, you know, you're a 10-year veteran of something. You're not a veteran of, you're not ten a 10 one-year veteran, you know, something like that, you know. You learn over time, not just doing the same thing over and again over time. And that's what you got to do. You got to learn that because you got to ask a lot of things in your life. Like, is it working for you? And if it's not, you got to try to change it. Throughout the 30 years of my existence, I've always tried to change things, sometimes more begrudgingly than not. These days, I'm definitely more open to learning than I used to be. One of the big problems I had is I thought I already knew everything. You know, I thought, you know, or it didn't apply to me. That's one of the biggest excuses I used to give to people. It'd be like, well, that just doesn't apply to me. You know what? In all reality, it probably does apply to you, and you gotta, you gotta listen, you gotta learn. And, you know, the only way you can learn that is the proverbial school of hard knocks. The only way you can learn that is, you know, experience over time. It's something that I, you know, I look back on my 20s and I think to myself, I would have never said this back then because experience, who needs experience, man? If you're really smart, you know every. It's like, I look back at, honestly, I look back at that about as, I don't even think disdainfully, about as, Funnily, I don't, I don't really know the thing the right word. I, with bemusement, as with as much bemusement as I give my earlier self of saying flatbread, and like you know, I like bringing up the flatbread because that's how far gone I was at one point in my life, where it's like I couldn't even say the word cookie because I thought that made me sound stupid. It's like what? Wouldn't you sound dumber if you called a cookie flatbread? Cookies aren't even flatbread. Flatbread's a completely different thing. So it's like I don't know. Or or or, or better yet, better yet, better yet. Uh, there was a time when I would not order sodas at restaurants. Technically, in Texas, you're supposed to call a soda a Coke. Uh, no matter what product it is, you call it a Coke. Uh, it could be a Pepsi. Yeah, I want a Pepsi Coke. That, that's what we say here. But that being said, you know, I would not order a Coke, be it Pepsi or otherwise. Uh, I would order tea because I thought that would make me look... They would make me look more respectable, man. It's like, what? It's funny how back then, if you'd ask me, do you care what other people think of you? I'd have said no. The reality was, I did. I wanted to be taken seriously. The reality is, now that I'm at age 30, I'm going to order me a fucking Coke if I want a fucking Coke. And if you look down upon me for that, go fuck yourself. You know, that's the thing. That's how you got to act. But, you know, you got to learn to be able to act that way. You know, if someone makes fun of you because you ordered some cookies and you called it a fucking cookie, then that's on them. It's like, what's wrong with me calling a fucking cookie a fucking cookie? I'm going to eat my fucking cookies and drink my fucking Pepsi Cokes. And that's just how that goes. You know, you can't... I guess the thing is, you can't be afraid to be yourself for fear that some asshole somewhere... This ima it's, it's what I like to call the imaginary asshole. You know, th there's this imaginary asshole who's going to make fun of you for doing something. And he, he might not even exist. There might not even be a person that, 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 that does that. And so you're living... By the rules of the imaginary asshole. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Be what you want to be. Act the way you want to act within reason. You know? Don't be afraid to say the word cookie. You know? There's all those things you got to do. But you're not going to know that until you get some experience. It's just how it goes. You know? People in their 20s are going to act sometimes like people in their 20s. Now, there's people who can get it a lot faster. But the reason why they usually get it a little faster is because they've had to go through the school of hard knocks. They've had to go through that experience. Some people get experience earlier than others. Some people get it later. For me, I had an interesting level of experience that that kind of was a wave of some sort. You know, like sometimes I got a lot of experience, so I knew how to do something. Didn't have any. Then, you know, you got to go through that. Some people will have more at an earlier age because, you know, they went through more trauma. They went through more difficulties. Like for me, you know, I did have a lot of experience by my 20s not to go out and get drunk, you know, to be very focused on getting my college degree and stuff like that. But there's a lot of stuff I didn't know because I never experienced it before. It's just something to keep in mind. One of the things, the other excuse I used to give is uh, something Napoleon said, that war ages you. It's like, yeah, you are in no war. But once again, that's how I thought back then. You know, it's just, now that I've turned 30, I've, I've, I definitely have learned a lot of things. That's why I keep saying external elements, because external elements 
means a lot of things. I'm not going to list each and every one, but it's just so much of that stuff that has changed me over time. I've learned so much, you know. And, you know, that's another thing. You know, for me, I didn't get any friends till 2010. So when I had friends who had, you know, some basic similarities, it was like, oh, my God, it's great. But, you know, they may not be compatible, you know, uh, emotionally and uh, psychologically. It's only now that I've had more friends that I've seen just what the world is like that, you know, I know that maybe I didn't, maybe they weren't as good as I thought they were. That's, that's just something that you're going to learn over time. You know, the biggest difference between March of 2019 and March of 2018 is March of 2018, I was just zoomed in on the Mizio era. I did not let myself see everything else. And now, you know, I see the world for all the possibilities that there are. And I'm looking forward to getting out there and just getting a lot of things done and seeing a lot of things and experiencing a lot of things. It's something that I'm really looking forward to now, you know. And it's something that it's just amazing. Uh, one of the things I want everyone to keep in mind, though, uh, I don't know all of you out there watching this. I don't know what your lives are like. I don't want to know. I want to be depressed. <laughs> but that being said... Um, the old adage, don't do a permanent solution to a temporary problem, really is true. And if you'd have asked me that a month ago, I would have said, that's bullshit. Of course it is. But you know what? The reality is, temporary doesn't mean it lasts only a week. Temporary could be years. You know, it took me five years to get to this point. Five long, arduous years. And it required a lot of stuff to go right to get to this point. And if you were to ask me at the beginning of it all, you know, would it ever get better? Would it ever get as good as it is now? I would have said no. I would have said to you that you don't know nothing, man. You know, I, uh, it doesn't apply to me, something like that. But the reality is, you know, it really was a temporary problem. And if I had engaged in that permanent solution, well, there you go. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you got to keep in mind. The, the world can change. Your life can change. And in an instant, you know, without you even knowing it could happen. And so if you close yourself off, if you keep yourself down, or if you take yourself out of the equation entirely, you'll never know what good things exist out in the world. It doesn't seem like it when it's happening, but trust me on this, it can and will get better if you slog through that swamp of depression to glory, to the fucking Neverwinter City. I, I, I don't remember if Neverwinter City or whatever the case may be, but you get the idea. You know, if you, if you work, if you fight hard to succeed, you will. You know, it's going to seem so arduous. It's going to seem like it's impossible. But if you work, and it's not going to take like a month. It's not going to take a year. For me, it took five years to get to this point. You know, five years. For some of you, that's half your life. But you know what? If you give up in year one, who knows what you're giving up? And that's just something I really want to try to try to get across to all of you. Don't give up. Just don't. It seems like it's a good idea at times. But you just don't know what's waiting for you in the future. Because none of us does. You know, maybe if you got or got a fucking precog, tell me. Give me the fucking lotto numbers. But you get the idea. You know, if... If you don't try, you'll never succeed. If you don't work, you'll never be better. And if you never, you know, put yourself out there, you will miss out on so many opportunities. So, that aside, what about some computer stuff? Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a couple weeks back, Uncle Shagnasty, a loyal fan, donated a PC to me that sadly got thrashed by the trained gorillas at UPS. Uh, I didn't see all the various bits of damage to the uh, PC on the unboxing. It was like 8 in the morning, and I was a fucking zombie, you know, just staggering around. So I did not see the various issues. Uh, once I started working on it uh, that following Sunday, I noticed the top of the case was cracked. Uh, the um, uh, front audio jack was broken off, and the MOBO was broken as well. Uh, but I didn't know that. So on Sunday, I was building up the computer and worked except for two sticks of RAM. That was eight gigs. And what did I find? 
Oh, there was a RAM slot. Oh, two RAM slots broken. I found that out on Tuesday. Oops. So, it took me a while to get that computer working, and I was just pulling out my bloody hair trying to make that goddamn thing work. But it works, and it works pretty bloody well. That GTX 970 is an excellent card. Uh, now, when I say I, I got it working, the Shag Nasty computer doesn't work. It still only runs 8 gigs of RAM. So, I had to just basically take some components out of his computer and put it into the old computer. The one that's using some PC Gamer by default... Uh, components and some components that I bought years prior and now that's working uh that computer now has the GTX 970 it's got uh he had uh Shag actually had two USB 3 ports in the front and I put those in there and they work pretty well USB 3 is awesome ladies and gentlemen it's very very fast uh the GTX 970 works really well uh it doesn't work in some games quite as well as the RX 480 however the GTX 970 is much more versatile a good case in point is the fact that the RX 480 did not like anything OpenGL. I know some of you have reported that other AMD cards do, but whatever the case, mine did not. Uh, it really was good with Vulkan stuff. Uh, I was able to run Doom maxed out at 60 FPS in Vulkan mode, however it does not run nearly as well in OpenGL mode, but then again I've already played Doom multiple times. And I've already done a Let's Play of it, live stream, whatever. I might actually live stream that again. Uh, there are other games that just straight up didn't work. You know, like Rage didn't work. Um, the Wolfenstein games didn't run at all. And uh, Knights of the Old Republic, you know, a game from 2003, that barely ran. So I'm very happy to have that uh, particular card in my computer. Now, that's not to say that the RX 480 is bad. It works with just about everything but a few things that I personally wanted to run. Uh, so, it's a good card. If you have one, be happy with it. Uh, but it was just... It had some specific issues that were specific to me. Uh, that's probably not specific to just about anyone else. Uh, for those who watch the live streams, I live streamed a few VR games because I, cause I've now gotten into VR Troopers Virtual Reality. Uh, I got the VR Tech WVR something something. It was a 1080p model. Uh, Walmart was running a sale where they were 20 bucks, and I decided to get the 1080p model. Now, I'm not going to get the uh, more expensive one because I don't think the PC I have right now can run it. Uh, the PC I have right now can barely run the VR headset I have now. It runs it pretty well, but I can't imagine putting two 1440 screens and trying to get that to work with the uh, processor and graphics card that I have now. The fact is, though, the way that one works, works well. I'm really enjoying playing 3D games. I'm really enjoying watching 3D movies, uh, watching 3D other things. It's also quite enjoyable as well. Um, but VR is really quite worth it. If you can get one of those 20 buck headsets, uh, I really recommend that. And just experiment with it. You're going to have to buy a longer cable for the HDMI and the uh, USB as of this recording. Both extenders have not come in, unfortunately, because those cables are really small. Uh, I'm still experimenting with it, trying to get a lot of 3D stuff to work. That's not easy. Uh, a good case in point of not being easy, getting Dusk to work in 3D, getting it all 100%. I've got it kind of like at 80%, and it looks pretty, pretty sweet, i got to say. I I'm really enjoying uh, working with that. Uh, let's see here. This is sort of an interesting announcement. No, no, no one of you is going to remember this by the time it comes, but guess what? Alien Isolation? Oh, yeah. That's getting reviewed in 2020. Uh, just about every game that I didn't want to review because I was closed in, in the Mizio era where I had the chains on my heart, well, now that the chains have been broken, guess what? Isolation is going to be reviewed. And I'm glad I waited, because you know what? There is a mod for it that allows you to do it VR. That is going to be fucking sweet once I get it working. Uh, so yeah, Alien Isolation, it's on. It on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a lot of things that weren't on are on now, because it's the future. And I only anticipate it getting better and better and better as time goes on. Uh, right now, I am the happiest I've been in five years. And I gotta say, I only expect to get happier every day. Uh, I really just want to thank uh, everyone, and you all know who you are, and you all... Actually, no. Y'all know who you are, and y'all know what you did. 
and I can't thank you enough. And I also want to thank you guys, the fan. I want to thank y'all, the fans, as well. I'm bringing back y'all. It kind of has been culturally appropriated by assholes, but I want to bring it back. That's I tell you, I'm gonna go off on another tangent. You know, used to be, I was all very kind of secretive about who I was for no good reason. Because I was always afraid of the invisible asshole, the imaginary asshole. Like, oh, you're stupid because... And so I wouldn't say, y'all, I would kind of like really talk really uh, overly uh, stiff. I still I still talk the way I talk, but I, I was very overly precise, you know, because I did not want anyone to think that I was foolish. And I'll still say, you know, the big words, because that's how I talk. But I would do it more so that I wouldn't leave. The idea kind of, and th this is one of the reasons why I'm forcing myself to stop doing that, the invisible asshole thing, is because when I was in middle school, people always used to make fun of how I talked. They made fun of how I looked. And so I didn't want to give them an opening. I didn't want to give them a target, because at the time I felt like it's got to be my fault because i got to change so they can't come after me. Well, I carried that on way past where I should have. And so now, I want to say, y'all, I want to say what I want to say without fear of being judged for it. And that's something that I'm going to do. And even if I am judged for it, go fuck yourself. You know, that's just the way it's got to be. So I'm going to endeavor to continue saying y'all and things of that nature instead of you all or you guys. It's fucking y'all. I'm from Texas. I, You know, there's a time... There's a time. There's time where two things happened. One, I didn't want to tell people I was from Texas because I thought, oh, they're going to think I'm a redneck or something. You know what? If you think I'm a redneck, I'll take a look at that neck. It might be red sometimes. But that's only because it's red because I've been working out in the yard chainsaw and shit. Not red because um, of some kind of rash. The, the joke is that uh, real rednecks, you know, the trailer trash kind of people would have like a, a, a neck rash. But you get the idea. Speaking of which... You know, there's a difference between being a Texan and being a redneck. Uh, rednecks generally always have a bunch of old tires stacked around with weird things like a pole in concrete. Uh, drove past what was a redneck house a few... Eh, about a week ago. And they had all this, this massive mound of trash. It's like, yeah, that's got to be a redneck house. Because they got the tires. and Because redneck houses always have tires for some reason. I don't know why, but they always do. But, you know... I'm proud to be a Texan. I am proud to be from Houston, and I'm proud to be me. That's taken a lot of time for me to be able to say that. But you've got to be proud of who you are. You know, there's always... The invisible assholes should not have power over you. And if there are real assholes, you know what? Fuck them. Be who you want to be. Be who you are. You know, I am General Lots. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm proud to be from this city. This is a good city, and Texas is an amazing state. Second best in the Union, first best being Alaska. You know, you just got to be proud of who you are. So, I'm going to wish y'all a good um, uh, fortune and a good uh, happiness. Whatever makes you happy. Wait, I think I said happy twice. Ah, well, you can't have too much happiness. Well, maybe you can, but use in moderation. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue bringing you this awesome content.